Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are counting down the top five lost and found Frank Lloyd Wright buildings. This video was brought to you by our membership program. Stick around to the end to learn more about that. Frank Lloyd Wright was an American architect, designer, writer, and educator born in 1867. He designed more than 1,000 structures over a creative period of 70 years until his passing in 1959. Wright believed in designing in harmony with humanity and the environment, a philosophy he called organic architecture. His works are considered to be the best of any American architect to date, and his designs continue to inspire us to this day. We are starting off at number five, the Imperial Hotel. The Imperial Hotel was originally designed by Yuzuro Watanabe in 1880 for Tokyo, Japan. Frank Lloyd Wright was given the opportunity to redesign it in 1920. In 1923, the Great Kanto Earthquake struck Tokyo, causing massive damage to the city. But the Imperial Hotel stood strong against the shaking earth and remained standing until the 1960s when it began to sink into the mud below it. There were arguments and debates over how to restore the hotel, though it was eventually decided that the hotel would be demolished. Today, the only part of the hotel that remains is housed at the Maiji Mira Museum in Inoyama, Japan, where visitors can see the reflecting pool and the central lobby of the hotel on display. Number four. The Rose Pawson House. In 1942, Frank Lloyd Wright was commissioned by Rose Pawson to design a vacation property for her and her sister in Phoenix, Arizona. Only having stood for one year, a tragedy occurred in 1943 when an ember escaped the fireplace, catching a curtain on fire, which would eventually lead to the entire house being engulfed in flames, which reduced it to its stone foundation. The foundation remained untouched for many years and gained the nickname Shiprock due to the foundation's resemblance to a seafaring ship. Today, the foundation has been removed and only the chimney of the house remains and can be seen gracing the entrance of the Alta Vista Park Estate subdivision in Phoenix, Arizona. Number three, the Francis Apartments. In 1985, Frank Lloyd Wright had just begun his career and was commissioned by the Terre Haute Trust to design a mixed use apartment complex that would feature retail space on the first floor and one, two, and three bedroom apartments on the second, third, and fourth floors. Being early in his career, he had not yet developed a prairie style, so we can see this building as a step in his development as he is trying to break away from the traditional design by introducing experimental elements to the building. Unfortunately, this early work of his was demolished in 1971, though pieces of it can be found on display in the Art Institute of Chicago. Number two, the Oscar Stevens House. Oscar Stevens was a very wealthy businessman in Chicago around the turn of the century. He and his wife commissioned Frank Lloyd Wright to design for them a house that would overlook Lake Michigan from a ridge top. Wright designed the house in his iconic prairie style, and the house was very similar in style and form to the house that he designed for his office manager, Isabel Roberts, in Oak Park, Illinois. In 1963, a real estate developer purchased the property and demolished the house to make way for a new development. The only silver lining to this tragic event is that several of the custom windows designed by Wright were salvaged and sold at an auction. One of the windows even sold for an astounding $10,000 in 2013. Number one, lost to time, but still standing. In 1989, Linda McQuillan purchased a house in Madison, Wisconsin for $100,000. She was drawn to the house for its design and was curious to learn more about it. After identifying that the studs were placed 24 inches apart, a signature design trait of Frank Lloyd Wright, she began to look for more clues to its unique construction. After many years of wondering about her house, Linda was contacted by Mary Jane Hamilton, a Wright scholar. Hamilton had heard rumors that there was a house designed by Wright in Madison, Wisconsin, but was never able to find evidence. That is, until she stumbled across an advertisement from 1917 in the Wisconsin State Journal newspaper by a building company advertising American system built houses, which was the company whose name was on the building permit for McQuillan's house. The homes were designed as spec homes by Frank Lloyd Wright to be more affordable options for working class people. To date, it is the only known example of a house built in Frank Lloyd Wright's AA series, though it is thought that there could be as many as 16 of them that were built. Hopefully, more of these homes will be found to be still standing and can be restored. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you haven't yet, click that join button right down there next to the subscribe button. By joining our membership program, you'll support us so that we can buy more equipment and bring you higher quality videos every time. Joining the membership program also brings you perks. You'll get a loyalty badge next to your name, 
You'll get to use custom emojis, unlock wallpapers that you can use for your phone or your desktop backgrounds, and a certain tier will allow you to be featured on our credits page as a sponsor. Thank you all for watching again. I'll see you next time on This House.